Moving on to uh, the next thing, we threw a Chromebook off the roof. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> that's it. That's, that's it. how the story ends. That's all we have to say. Uh, that's it. We just threw a Chromebook off the roof for no reason <sighs> because we like destroying things. Yeah, we like breaking things. <laughs> yeah, I mean, pretty we're much. just like pretty destructive We have all this guys. stuff back here. We just figured, hey, yeah, we let's woke, break this. We woke up. We woke up last week, one morning, just chose, said we chose, chose violence. Book violence. Yeah. <laughs> just yeah. said we're going to destroy something today, and that's what we yeah. went and did. Yeah. Uh, no, that's not what we did. We wanted to make a video about testing uh, all of the uh, 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 claims. Claims. I was I was going to say mil spec ratings, but like, what would you call it? It's uh, durability. Claims durability claims. For, Thank you. There you for go. For rugged Chromebooks, yeah. um, and they're they're largely the same across all of them. So, right. you know, whether you get an HP or an ASUS or Acer. Or, Lenovo, whatever. Right. If it's a student main crow book and it has claims of durability, yeah. they almost end up all falling under the same thing. Four feet, you know, dropped onto a hardwood. Um, the the amount of liquid they can withstand changes from yeah. device to device. The one we tested was 12 ounces, which is a ton of Quite liquid. a bit, yeah. It's a lot of liquid. Quite a bit. Um, we basically poured a full one of these on but it. But, like, the, the reinforced hinges all kind of do the same tricks now. Like, I remember we were in Vegas and, like, that mm -hmm. Asus... Our Acer uh, <clears throat> our uh, thumbnail. booth, yeah, that let us hold it. People thought the thumbnail was fake and all this stuff. Like that was one of the first ones that kind of did that whole reinforced hinge thing. But you know, we've learned through talking with these manufacturers over the years, like the study that goes in for this stuff. Like they they go and they observe. Let's just see what kids do to these things, and then see if we can figure out a way to make it not break the Chromebook. And so like snatching the Chromebook up, like kids will just grab it by the screen and pick it up. I'm like. What? Yeah. Like my if my little, kids ever do that, I'll knock them out. Little like, barbarians. What are you doing? Little barbarians. Um, and so you know they have to <laughs> they have to you know be rated for that, but you know also just holding it out by the screen like that kind of stuff. So the reinforced hinges, the drop protection, the water uh, stuff, and then not being able to pick keys off of and we, of the, and the we device didn't with test, bare hands. We didn't test standing on it. We, we shouldn't have Dang that it. one. Actually, I looked at the specs. It didn't say anything about having a downward force rating. Yeah, there's uh, not a lot. The, the Acer, Acer one, the Acer said did. CTL yeah. does the downward rating test, but uh, some of them just don't put it on there. But my guess is if it has all those other things. I would bet most <laughs> most Chromebooks can take more downward force than you would imagine. Yeah. It's and just and one that's of the thing. Like oh yeah, for people that aren't familiar with this, mil spec isn't a specific rating or specific test. There's a battery of tests. So when you see these new devices announced, it'll say something like meets you know so many it passes so many mil spec tests there's a ton of tests in this so it'll be up to a certain weight or up right. to a certain drop or up to this or it's this much dust resistance or that so if a device says mil spec don't just assume that and it's the, like they always just say mil spec tested yeah, yeah. so it's the, like okay that yeah. didn't need to pass and there's yeah. different there's mil spec <laughs> like 20 don't don't assume that that device is indestructible just because it says it's been mil spec mm -hmm. tested mm -hmm. you need to you know do some research it, it, on that hp is pretty pretty high in the, in yeah. the realm of well almost every chromebook that comes out this has mil spec it's a10 a10 right h i think it's the one that they that they all do so it's that's the mil spec stuff is usually just dust uh humidity resistance that kind of stuff like the mil spec, uh, the drop ratings aren't even part of. I think that particular mil spec actually. Um, so like there, it it is. It's very foggy. Yeah, uh, it's a it's a marketing ploy to be yeah. honest. Uh, the the education Chromebooks a lot of times will come and they will say this can withstand up right. to this. Right. Um, and, and instead of just throwing it under, what you'll see the mil spec stuff with is uh, mo almost every Acer Chromebook that we get our hands on. Yeah, it's mil spec mil spec yeah. rated, tested. You know, it's like okay, so that's our next thing. I, I want to take yes. Oh, I want to get consumer someone device. to give us a consumer device that claims mil spec and let us do the the main stuff on it first and do some drop basically drop testing yeah. is really where it's yeah. going to come down to. Uh, maybe get us a bag of sand and throw like yeah. throw some of this stuff at it and see if it really stands up to those things. But that's that's what we wanted to yeah. test is yeah. is some of these specific claims. So we went to HP's website and got the spec sheet for this. Here's specifically what it says it can withstand. So let's specifically do those things. Uh, and we did all of them on mm -hmm. camera. We dumped a full glass of water, literally all of the all of it. Most on the painful keyboard. part of the video for me. I don't know why it was just. Uh, it was cool to watch it bubble up on. Top. Oh, I know. Like it just sat on and top. And the slow mo of it. looks so good. Yeah, yeah. And, but I mean, picking it up and watching it just run off. I mean, made a huge mess. But um, you know, and and some pretty nasty drops uh, from at least four feet. Probably a little higher on a couple of them, but yeah. you know, shoving it off the desk and letting it just hit and just watching it just yeah. blubber around. 
but it, it stood up to all that stuff, and it yep. took me taking a butter knife to the keys to get. And even that, to you get, had to like. I really had to work yeah. to get that thing, but I wouldn't. I wouldn't do it. Like it would which, hurt you to get it off. Your which nails. like, like you would, apparently you, you would probably break it, like it'd peel back a nail. Like before it was that thing. It was gonna Acer or somebody up. we were talking to who told us like it's just like a habit thing. Like kids will be sitting yeah. there and just like pick. You know, they're, well, they they're said just, some like, of them will want to pick it to move the keys around. Yeah, stuff, which these these anchor keys apparently won't. <laughs> they aren't going to work with that whole thing because once I picked it off, finally it was all. To snap back I could on. not put it back on. So uh, the key still worked underneath the, the cap, though, like the, the physical key itself. And we did that before we poured the water. I remember pouring the water during the video and being like, oh, <laughs> we peeled a key up. Crap. Did we like, I thought the same we thing. I was screwed like, up the whole thing. But no, it, no. it was fine. Because it's kind of uh, sealed down underneath. Yeah, it'll, usually they'll have a membrane or whatever. Yeah, and it's term. the membrane underneath that. But somehow, like the, the the cap itself is also anchored. It's an anchored key right. cap somehow. So the way it's put in there is made like as you try to get into it from the side, it's almost like it depresses. It's they're they're cool. Yeah. Uh, but a lot of companies use these. Like it's not like just HP or whatever. Uh, so we put it through all that stuff and it survived just fine. Mm-hmm. And so then you know we thought let's uh, let's prove the fact that yeah it's these things are durable. They're not indestructible. Right. And so. Um, instead of, you know, just going like drop it to eight foot or 10 foot, you know, we took it on a roof and threw it off on the asphalt. I'm going to, I need to get my, uh, range finder and scope that and see exactly. I would I'm going bet, 36. Oh, I don't think it's that tall. I don't think it was. Well, well I don't know. It I was, wasn't up there. So I <laughs> on top of the roof, you dropped it from over the rail. So yeah. it's another four foot yeah. at least right there. So I'm, I'm guessing the stories, I think the stories were about 10 foot probably because yeah. it's nine foot ceilings in that apartment mm-hmm. and stuff between. So. 25 foot would be my yeah, guess. 25 that's 30 about where it came thought, from. Yeah. But still, that's a lot. Yeah. On the asphalt. On the asphalt. Uh, and and it, it didn't blow up. Like the first <laughs> one, the first one when we first, you, you, have, to, you have to go watch the video. You just got to go watch the yeah. video. I mean, uh, just go watch and uh, go to the end if you want to. But seeing the other test, I thought was really interesting yeah. too. And, and, you know, we, we did, you know, we, we kind of start the video off and we titled the video with some of the maybe more exciting part of dropping it off the roof. But, sure. but we did that to try to make this video as interesting as possible, right? So that people would actually watch and, and learn something about these devices that are that are, that are are pretty pretty dang durable. It really M- More durable than I really, like, I thought, I, I thought, thought one of the drops off of the table or one of the drops of you holding it, it or something. something would pop off, the keyboard wouldn't, you know, Something would happen because the screens are made to, or and like the bodies are made to kind of like pop and snap off. Yeah, I thought at least like the back would pop off or something. Right, that didn't even happen. It no. did snap. It it popped on There's one of the screen bezel. Popped, right, one so little thing popped. Robbie's just like snap. doop, doop, snapped right back in. No yep. problem. I thought one of those. I thought maybe either something would pop off or the screen. What was interesting is like some of the comments already too of people saying like, "Hey, we've deployed hundreds of these in our school system, and we've had we get people coming back with them completely demolished." And like, I just threw it in my bag, and they're like, "Well, no. we can clearly watch this now and be like, that is not the case. Like, you're absolutely lying. Something happened, you know, and that's what we were out to to show. Like, right. yes, they are durable, but." Here's the level of ridiculousness you they have to go post, to, to break yeah, it. They should posterize that, put it in their ID department, and just That's have right. it at the bottom. No, your Chromebook did not accidentally <laughs> yeah. explode. That that didn't happen. There you go. Chromebook in your bag. IT admins. This is Liar. probably more what video. happened. Yeah. Yeah. And that's that's the thing too is it's it's you know it wasn't like oh here's we're testing the durability of a 2022 ball. It's just a durable Chromebook like. The ones that were made two years prior probably have the same durability ratings. Yeah. The ones that were out this year have the same durability. Like, yep. it's all kind of the same thing regardless. It wasn't like we chose that device for a reason. We just happened to have it. Right. Um, and so we, we used it for that. And so, you know, like, hopefully over the next couple of years, this is a video that will just continue getting, yeah. you know, views and being useful to people to see, yeah. like, huh. Oh. Yeah, if I get a durable Chromebook, it, like, it's actually worth. It's actually going to yeah. withstand. <laughs> yeah, like, and it's, it's worth putting up with some of the deficiencies yeah. of those maybe Chromebooks. not perfect screen yeah or yeah. they're not the most beautiful devices right. and they kind of look like chonkers and sometimes it's like it's okay you know your kid when your kid throws it off the table yeah or oops bumps it or oh man i spilled my drink on it like it's actually going to withstand right. those things it's not just a marketing thing you know in, in enterprise devices with people using them out in the field and that sort of stuff like these yeah. devices are are legit yeah so um, i'm really interested to see like a more standard one that has the mil spec mm-hmm. rating like how it holds Didn't up. Didn't you to some say of these the Vero or one of the other Acer? Vero's, yeah. Vero's mill spec. Every Acer Let's that we've him. seen for a while has Let's been like him. that. So Let's ask him. That's an interesting one that it's, you know, uh uh made from a lot of recycled materials. Like that could be a fun one to be like well, you remember when the says it's mill spec too. The Let's Pro try. came out, Samsung Chromebook Pro, and that guy put it through all those tests. He was yep. an educator and he really 
wore it out and it stood up to most of it. And I was like, yeah. okay. I yeah. mean, I just, I think. And it didn't have any, it wasn't. Yeah, he just. There was no ratings or he anything He abused the snot out of that I don't thing. know if I remember that. I'll have it to was, yeah, it was a it was a school IT admin mm-hmm. and I don't wow. even remember why he did it. I, oh, I think we wrote an article though and put the video yep. in the article. Nice. So it's on the website somewhere. Nice. Uh, but yeah, that makes me interested to see like, especially the ones with uh, that fans and stuff, all the moving parts right. to them. Yeah. So yeah. I, I'd love to do it. Uh, both with a fan device and a non-fan, which well, I know like, like the, the 513 is non-fan. Yeah, but, but like your aluminum spec. devices, stuff like that, are they going to bend? They're obviously going to show damage worse than the plastic oh, ones are. And and it makes me wonder, like uh, most of these enterprise devices are mil-spec or they've been durability tests or whatever. I don't know. Something in me just says I bet they're not as indestructible no as, way, the, as no. the school devices. There's no way. Yeah. Uh, the, I mean, even the, the big bumper <clears> around <throat> the edges of the school devices like that. That clearly is there for a reason. Uh, it'd be fun to see if we could get that 10E from Lenovo and, and actually run it through a battery. Yeah. So I've still got one, but it's dead, so it really yeah. wouldn't do any good. Uh, just because, you know, it had kind of the bumpery look to it, yep. too, um, and it kind of take it through yeah, some of those it's tests. It's still got yep. the same display as the, the Duet, though. I bet that display would... I feel like it just wouldn't stand up, but mm. I don't right know. That's, that's what's interesting about doing test. videos like this, yeah. uh, to be able to actually do that stuff. Because we, we take that stuff at face value and just like oh you know it could stand yeah. up to that stuff well, until you actually right. run into those situations right. you just don't know so it's a, it's no different than like having you know at one point sapphire glass was going to become the front panel of all cell phones and then i guess they figured out there's not enough of it to go around and so it's like on watches and stuff like that i don't know some of the apple mm-hmm. watches have sapphire glass on them and you know it's like you hear that it's harder and it's it's more scratch resistant and all that stuff it's like you don't want to take a five hundred dollar watch and try it. No, right. like you're not going to run it through, and you're still going to take care of it, you right. know, and, and and guard it. It's like it's so cool to be able to take some of these things and just be like, now yeah, we're going to break it. Yeah, we'll right. test. It's it. like we'll the gorilla. The, make what's it. the new the Victus? Victus. It's supposed to be so much better than every time they say that. I'm like, mm, I don't believe it. it. It's at the end they of the day, it, scratch yeah. At the easy. end of the day, it's still glass, and if you're rough <laughs> on it, or sand is sand is will <laughs> scratch. <laughs> anything yeah. absolutely hey everyone thanks for watching this clip of the chromecast if you want to see the full episode it's linked down in the description or you can just go check out that youtube channel the chromecast podcast on youtube but if you like this content give us a thumbs up go down there and click subscribe and click the notification bell so that you get an alert when we put out the next clip just like this one okay see you